Welcome to Laundry Camp. My laundry camp is the hottest ticket in town. Soak them in hot water. Hot water? It's hot, it'll be okay. My granny taught me that laundry is all about love. Clean clothes are a privilege. While the methods may have changed, you need to have vodka in your bar and your laundry room. Learn something new every day. Some things never win. Patrick Richardson is the host of a new series on Discovery Plus that aims to change how we think of laundry. Laundry, Larry. Patrick joins us this morning. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. How are you? Good. Patrick, this is fascinating. There is actually, I thought they were joking. There's a TV show about laundry. Why wouldn't there be a TV show about laundry? Laundry's fun. <laughs> I don't think I've heard many people say that, but it's infectious how you go about this. Tell us what you're doing that makes people want to watch a show about laundry. Well, I mean, we're giving the practical side, you know, about laundry tips. But the bigger issue is these people have cherished objects, you know, something that's very important to them, be it a wedding dress or, you know, a stuffed animal. And they all have one thing in common. They have really strong memories in them, but they're also stained and damaged. And I go in, I meet with them, and restore the item and bring it back. And what's really fun when you watch the show is as the item comes back, you can see the memories come back, you know, in the in the person's mind. I mean, it's like when it's clean and fresh, their memories are vibrant. It's amazing. Is part of this driven by the fact that somewhere along the line, uh, laundry became really complicated. You look at a washing machine today, it's like trying to, you know, land something on the moon. Uh, what is the best setting or how do we make it more simple? It's super easy. You should only use one setting. Use the express cycle on your washing machine. It's long enough to get your clothes clean huh. and use warm water because warm water will activate the detergent and the cleaning process starts immediately. So it's a quick, fast cycle and, you know, you can get all of your laundry done in a couple hours. And you say you should never throw anything in the dryer. You should hang dry everything. Well, I mean, you can throw sheets and towels in the right. dryer unless you have a clothesline, but, you know, your clothes will last a lot longer if you hang them up and let them dry. They'll, it'll double the life. But you know what? They always get so, like, stiff and scratchy when you're not putting them in the dryer. So what do you do for that? Well, that's a, a really great question. The trick is you need to cut back on how much detergent you use. Oh. What's making them stiff is actually detergent residue left in them. So if you... If you're ever questioning how much detergent you should use, like, should I use a little more, a little less? Always a little less. It'll be plenty. So you don't need that fabric snuff softener that I never know when in the washer you're supposed to put that in. Well, the reason you don't know when to put it in is because you shouldn't. Oh. Uh, and why Just is don't that? use it at all. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it, if you cut back on how much detergent you use, your clothes are naturally soft and you don't need it. Look at that. Now, I've heard some people say you never, ever have to wa wash blue jeans. Is that true? I mean, how well, dirty can they get? They, I mean, they're like anything else, you know? I mean, if you're, I mean, they were originally made for gold miners. I mean, I guess if you're gold mining, you probably would wash them more often. <laughs> but if you're just wearing them to the grocery, I think I try to wear mine nine or ten times before I wash them. Nine really? or ten times. See, this is good information. But how do you? I mean, all right, I'm going to throw another one at you. Men's mm -hmm. suits can be really expensive to dry clean. You're not supposed to dry clean them that frequently, but you say that you can put a man's suit in the washing machine, and that sounds crazy. Yeah, you put each piece in a mesh bag, and you put it in the bag really tight so that it um, is like, like a sausage, and you toss it in the washing machine, use really good soap, take it out, hang it up, let it dry. Uh, it's really interesting last week someone in london got a hold of the book because i also have a book and he tried it and he took it to all these researchers and they all looked at him like he was crazy but then as they thought about it they were like oh yeah you know that would totally work and so he did it and it did work wow, wow. you also say if you get like a a stain on your carpet you use vodka <laughs> yeah vodka will remove the odor from anything and it very often will work as a stain remover it's very antibacterial. Huh. It's a pretty amazing thing, and when it dries, it's odorless, colorless. But what about if it's like, you know, a, a, a st does it work on getting the stain out, like a wine stain, or do you scrub it, do you blot it, what do you do? Um, spray it on and blot it. Okay. It very often may remove the stain on its own. If it doesn't, 
you can get some oxygen bleach, which, you know, is pretty common, but it's totally color safe, and it will pretty much take any stain out of carpet. Have the corporate detergent guys come after you saying, hey, stop <laughs> telling people not to use so much detergent? <laughs> not yet, but I expect it any day. Yeah. <laughs> How did you figure all this stuff out? Yeah. I mean, did you have to consult with chemists and stuff, or is this just trial and error? Well, it's a lot of things. I had a granny who loved to do laundry, so she had a lot of tips. I studied apparel and textiles when I was in college, and I've, I worked at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom and huh. Nordstrom Trips and the Europeans, and then some of it was just trial and error. I gotta tell you, I thought, you know, Who's going to watch a show about laundry? I'm watching a show about laundry. Yeah, that was fascinating. <laughs> that was fascinating. I got to tell you, there's probably 20,000 more tips that you've got. Right. Am I right? No, yeah, I've got a few. Oh, yeah. it's great. Next well, time I do laundry, I'm going to remember <laughs> all of this. I'm going right. to. <laughs> uh, the Laundry Guy is streaming now on Discovery Plus, and you can follow Patrick on Instagram and Twitter. Pleasure to meet you, Patrick. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Well, that was interesting.